should uh, you know should we consider this banning Trump from social media sphere uh, censorship or not? <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Let's get realistic. In uh, today's in, in uh, the current state of the world politics, we don't have that luxury. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we don't have that luxury uh, to talk about freedom of expression of Trump. Let's talk about <laughs> freedom of expression of socialists or Bernie Sanders. Wow. <laughs> That's one thing also that bothered me and many others. <laughs> imagine, imagine a Black Lives Matter activist. Exactly. Go, ransacking the Capitol, they would be shot death, right? Cold blood. The, the hypocrisy is also astonishing, like you just greatly expressed. It's, it's in front of us, and still a lot of people on the right don't want to see it. Um, okay, I, I talked about this in How to Lose a Country. There's this yeah, big yeah. thing since um, 1980s, especially in media, and now it's spreading in social media in, and to the discussions about social media. People mix two things, uh, objectivity and neutrality. <laughs> uh, and neutrality is not objectivity and you don't have to be neutral if you're trying to be objective. Well, um, yeah. And when you're neutral in an unequal relationship, when you are observing mm -hmm. and commenting on an unreal, unequal relationship, unequal, unequal, whatever, uh, an unequal relationship, you're not objective. You are taking yeah. sides. Wow. Wow, like, that's interesting. This this powerful. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so in the name of objectivity, people wow. tend to be neutral, and that automatically puts them on the side of the powerful and the oppressor. Wow. 